how many of you have been trying to say, when will my time come? I have joined every ritual that Uzi has asked me to do. I have poured libations to my ancestors. I have done the water work. I have raised altar. I have followed God Uzi for months, even years. I have waited. I have done everything. Why is it that things aren't working or going where I want them to be? Why have I been following him and I'm not seeing what I'm supposed to see? He comes back every day showcasing the cars he has bought. He comes back every day telling us how somebody, a son of his, got something, a daughter of his got something. Why can't I be him? Why can't I get something out of this? Let me tell you. At that verge when blessing is coming, at that time when the ancestors are about to bless, when the deities are said, truly we can trust him, that is when these things will begin to happen. That is when you start having resentment towards the one you call Papa. That is when friends betray you skyrocketed. Skyrockets. That's when you give up. That's when you begin to question the very belief you stand on. That's when you begin to ask yourself, are you really sure that this watered religion, are you really sure that this African spirituality is what I want? Just know your time for celebration is close. I will cause you this day we beg you this day that hold on. Tonight again, tonight again, I am going to the beach. I will pray for you. I will present all of your requests before the seas. I will present my own. I will do consultation for as many as I can do for. But I can assure you, no man embrace the ways of their ancestors. I put to shame. There is one prayer I pray. He said, May the Spirit help me so that I will not make decisions that will bring shame to my ancestors. I will not make decisions that will make my ancestors say we are ashamed of bringing such a soul to this life. As many of you who have poured libation, as many of you who have done altar raising, I speak to you this day that that libation we want water that seed and it will bring forth a tree that the fruit will feed you, your children, even up to the seventh generation. As many of you that have done whatever ritual that you have done so far, I can assure you that the fruit will come very soon. It will yield fruit, fruit that you will say, truly, he said it, and that is how it is. As it has happened to me, so shall it happen to you. Blessings will come your way. Stop tapping into the blessings. Stop tapping into the cars I buy. Stop tapping into people's testimony. Tapping will not give you. This is the kind of prayer you make when people give testimony. May the ancient waters replicate what he had done for my brother in my life. When you tap into people's blessing, it means you are jealous. Jealousy is not actually a good Emotions. It means you are envy. Envy might want to make you say you want to do something better than your neighbor. But sometimes it is always rewarding when you are genuinely happy for people. And so what do you take? Pray. May the ancient waters, may God who see, may Ra, Anubis, Amajoha, Domakoma, Oya, Olokun, may they replicate the blessing in the life of my sister Agnes in my life. May they replicate the blessing in the life of my brother in my life. By so doing, you are telling your brother to keep his blessing that the waters can give you on your own. As I go to the waters this day, may everything that you've been asking for, everything that has caused you pain, may the water wipe it away. May they look at my cold this day. Nobody paid me to go and do the prayers for you. May they look at the cold that will catch me. May they look at the, the, the troubles that we pass through. The distance that we drive down and say, truly, he has suffered. 
He has given out. He has come out. Even when he was not paid, let us reduce his suffering and answer the prayers of these people. Waters, reduce my suffering and answer the prayers of these people. Prove to them that no one genuinely followed the ways of their ancestors. I ah, put to shame. And I beg you this day, you cannot serve two masters at the same time. If you are following the ways of the African spirituality, follow it squarely. Because it's only when a man or a woman decides to urinate in one place that you can see the evidence of the whole of the urination there. But if you don't, if you move around, there will be no evidence you actually urinated. Focus in one. And by the ancient waters, your life will be an example of grace, mercy, and abundance. May the ancient waters and the ancient spirits protect you. May they provide for you. May they shield you from the eyes of the envious, both humans, animals, and spirits. Asher.